सो हाई गाइज दिस इज आकाश एंड आई एम हेयर टू मेक थिंग सिंपल फॉर यू ओके सो टूडे वी आर गोन टू टॉक अबाउट अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक नोन एज बाइनरी सर्च ओके सो बाइनरी सर्च इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक्स वेन इट कम्स टू प्रोग्रामिंग रिलेटेड टू डेटा स्ट्रक्चर्स ओके सो इन बाइनरी सर्च वॉट वी डू वी वर्क ऑन डिवाइड एंड कॉन्कर एल्गोरिथम ओके सो वी डिवाइड द प्रॉब्लम इन टू टू एट एवरी आइट्रेशन and then we try to perform our task right so let us see how exactly binary search works and then we will get into the programming thing right so let's get started so here is an array in front of you here is an array right so in the array if you see the numbers stored are 13 21 54 81 and 90 right and we have the various indexes which are 0 1 2 3 and 4 for the array so the length of the array here is 5 right so the length of the array is 5 here in that case so we need to perform binary search on this array one of the important precondition of performing binary search is that the array should already be sorted so that is a prerequisite binary search can be performed only on sorted array okay so here our target is to find the number 81 so we need to find the position at which the number 81 is stored in the array okay so length of the array is 5 the target is 81 okay so here we are going to use a few positions min max and guess okay min will point to the minimum number in the array max will point to the maximum number in the array under consideration while guess will point to the midpoint in the array and based on this guess we are going to work on divide and conquer so we are going to divide the problem into two like wherever the guess is placed we will just split it into two so if the guess is placed here the array will split like this into two okay so now here the guess is pointing at 54 Okay so we are going to compare the min and the max value with guess okay so here clearly guess is smaller than max okay and guess is greater than min that is quite obvious because guess is at the middle of min and max so what we are going to do we are going to compare our target value with the guess value the guess value is right at the middle okay and we need to compare it with our target value okay so the guess value here is 54 while the target value is 81 okay so since the target value is greater than the guess value it means the target value is lying somewhere between guess and max and not between min and guess okay so the target value is between guess and max right so here it is the target value which is 81 that is lying between guess and max okay so in the next iteration what we are going to do we are going to place our min position at the middle position at what at where the guess is currently lying okay so we are going to readjust it and we are going to place our max position as it is so the new guess position will be at the middle that is 81 okay and that's how we do it so let us see how we perform it programmatically right so here is the program now here we have an array known as values and there are five values stored in the program which are 13 21 54 81 and 90 okay now first of all we need to find the size of the array 
like size of the values which are there in the array. Array can be of any length, but we have only five values. Okay, so a way of finding whether we are working on five values, it is using this int n equal to size of values upon size of specific any indices of the values. Okay, it is like dividing the entire amount by the number of people. Okay, like each person get what amount. So similarly, we get the uh, size of array by the size of values divided by the size of values zero. The size of values gives the entire size of the value array in bytes. Okay, while the size of values zero gives the bytes which are occupied by the zeroth index. Okay, so in a 32-bit machine, the integer array for for every integer array for every index four bytes are consumed, right? So n is equal to 20 by 4, so it comes out to be 5, right? Now we have the target as 81, right? And now we are calling a function binary search. We are passing the values array. We are passing the number of elements in that, which is n, and we are passing the target value, which is 81, right? Now, so let us move ahead with the function, which is the binary search, okay? So we go to the binary search function, okay? So here we can see, now we are about that max, min, and gas thing, okay? So the max position comes out to be length minus 1. Because the length of the array is 5 and we need to place the max at the 4th index of the array. So max equal to length minus 1. And the minimum will point at the 0th index of the array. Okay. While now we need to start. Okay. And another variable we have kept which is step. Step equal to 0. So it gives in how many steps do we find out our target. Right. So we start our loop, which is why max is greater than or equal to min. Because as we know that uh, the minimum or the maximum pointer would be meeting each other at some point of time if we keep on iterating things. Okay, because it is based on divide and conquer. So that's why we need to analyze whether the target is there in the array or not based on they do not coincide till now. Okay. So guess is equal to max plus min by 2 as we have seen in the example it will start pointing at the middle of the array okay and we increment the step so this is the first step step plus plus then we see if values of guess is equal to target like the middle guess value whether it is equal to target or not as we know the guess value here will be at 54 which is at the middle while the target is 81 so they are not equal okay so it goes to else if like whether values guess is greater than target so values of guess is 54 while target is 81 so this condition is also not meeting okay so next we go to else so min equal to guess plus 1 so we move the minimum pointer okay as we have seen in the example right So now we go to the next iteration, guess equal to max plus min by 2, okay. So if you see, where is the min pointing now, it is pointing at third index. Where is the max, it is at the fourth index. So 3 plus 4 equal to 7 and when 7 is divided by 2, what will come? 3.5 and in the integer form it is 3, okay. So it means that guess is now pointing at third index, okay. So now we go to the next, if values of guess equal to target, now the target is also at third index which is 81 and values of guess is 81 in that case. So we have met the target, right? So it means the guess index which is three third index at that the target is met, okay? And we return the value uh, of guess, okay? So the result is element is present at third index right so if we just run the program you can see that the number of steps required for search is 2 while the element is present at index 3 so this is how we perform the binary search i hope your concept is very much clear after that
Okay. In case you have any doubt, do feel free to comment below. Also, in order to get more such explanations of these algorithmic based programs and debugging exercises, please do join our Telegram channel, the link for which is given below. Okay. Only for serious students. Okay. I hope you like the video. In case you like, please do hit the like button because it takes some effort to make such videos. I wish you best of luck and thank you.